Hi, and welcome to a video tutorial from Cheryl at Anne Handmade 2. This video is brought to you by Anne Handmade 2 and Minibook Anonymous. This is my first project for the Minibook Anonymous design team. Minibook Anonymous is a great blog for those who are obsessed with minibooks. Go check it out at minibookanonymous.blogspot.com. You'll find loads of inspiration for minibooks, the moral support from fellow obsessives, and great new ideas from the design team. You can also check out my blog at craft-thing.blogspot.com. There you'll find more than mini books, scrapbooking, card making, altered art, tutorials, tips and more. You can also visit my shop at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash and handmade too, where the autumn range is currently being added. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a fabric covered deep pocket mini book. My challenge was to make a mini book that fitted into the theme of pumpkins and pears. I thought about it for a long time and eventually decided that the idea of pumpkins and pears reminds me most of all of autumn, so my mini book is autumn oriented. So there you have two points for inspiration, the structure and the content. What we have here is a book cover like outer structure with on the inside two deep trays to hold five flat cards on each side. The structure alone could be made into a gift box of cards or a stationery set storage for recipe cards or tabbed index cards for birthdays and addresses and lots of other things as well. What I've made is a themed photo storage box. I thought about what autumn meant to me and then decorated 10 pieces of card to represent those things. For example, autumn to me means going back to school and here is a school page. I want to stick photos of each of these things that autumn represents to me on the back of each page. So here, just around the edge of where the photo will be, I've kept to a school theme and decorated accordingly. When the photo is stuck on, you'll just be able to see the bits around the edges sticking out from underneath the photo. Other things that autumn means to me are bringing out the jumpers, um, making soups and crumbles, the passing of summer and feeling sad for the passing of summer, and of course, Halloween. I made sure I kept the mention of pumpkins and pears in here somewhere. So here on the inside you can see is a chipboard pear from Cosmo Cricket. And here on the outside are two cute folded paper embellishments which I'll show you how to make in a minute. Okay, that's enough talking, let's get started. Cut two A4 sheets of cardboard in half and take two strips from a third A4 sheet. Once glued together, these will form the basis for your structure. Lay out the rectangles on the fabric to make sure you have enough to cover them and to make a hem. To cover the small rectangle with fabric, I use a lot of double-sided tape. You could try other types of glue if you choose. I folded the edges over and pressed them with an iron. I also made sure I did this for the corners as well. Once stuck and pressed down, I added a running stitch all the way around the outside, for show, but also for strength. Now you can line up all your rectangles and see where exactly to stick the spine. Glue it down, strongly. Time to start hemming the fabric. Once you've hemmed the fabric, you can line up the fabric with the edges of the rectangles and stick them down with some more double-sided tape. Cut the corners on the underside like a mitre joint, fold over and stick down. Once you've folded and pressed all the edges and stuck them down with double sided tape, you should have a tight cover. This is the view from the inside. You should still be able to open and close it like a book. Now you can decorate the outside of your album. Let's move on to the inside of the album. It's time to choose your paper. For my colour palette, I allowed basic grey scarlet letter secret paper to inspire me. Even though this is Christmas paper, I've used it for an autumn colour. 
Choose your card stock in coordinating colors and cut to size. I backed the pattern paper with thicker card first before sticking it to the album and I sanded the edges so that it seemed like one piece. Now you'll want to put it under a load of heavy books to flatten and stick it down. Now cut the tray from a template. Cut from a square 21cm by 11cm and according to the measurements shown. Fold the flaps around and stick them down to form a tray. Now you can line up the trays with the inside of the book and stick them on with some double sided tape. With the measurements I've given, the book can open and close without the trays touching each other. Now it's time to decorate your pages and this is where you can really run free and do your own thing. As you can see, I've chosen to use different patterned paper to decorate the cards and then put the embellishments on top of that. But you can do whatever you want depending on what you're using this project for. Now to make the pumpkin a pear you'll need 7 of each shape. Mine measure approximately 1.5 inches in diameter. I've inked the edges for effect. You'll need to fold each shape in half, probably scoring as you go. And then you need to start sticking one half of one shape to one half of another shape. And keep going until you've fixed all 7 shapes together. This is what you should end up with. Then repeat for the pair. Cut a couple of leaf shaves out and score them with a craft knife. Then roll a couple of bits of cardboard up to make the stem. Then you need to thread the cord through the stem before sticking it down. And once it's stuck down, Stick in the leaf and insert through the middle of the shape. There should be a little hole where everything is joined together. After that, you can wrap the cord around the spine of the book. Tie it as you would a luggage label. And that's it. All done. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from and Handmade 2 and Mini Book Anonymous. If you're inspired to make something of your own, we'd love to see what you've come up with, so visit our blogs and leave us a comment or two in a link. If you're not inspired, well, there's plenty more where this came from, including the other design team members' projects and lots of other ideas as well. Don't forget, visit minibookanonymous.blogspot.com and craft-thing.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back in December with another mini book tutorial. Thank you.